a leader's push. Just because you can doesn't mean you should leadership. Now, I've had the pain and privilege on being on the both sides of this. As a former athlete, an employee, elevated to positions of leadership, where the organization, the boss, your coach has pushed you past your level of comfortability to get to the definition of a win. I've also been an owner. I've also been in positions of professional leadership where you've had to push for a few different reasons. One, it was a time of crisis and everybody had to come together, gel together to make it through the crisis. Maybe it was a deadline. Maybe it was a tragedy. Something happened and everybody pulls together and a lot of times you're doing more with less people. And the problem becomes is that organizations, leaders can become addicted to that pace of work and the revenue that that generates. So what the heck do we do about it? Because if it's not happening right now to your organization, I guarantee that it's coming. The first thing that we must do when the leader's push happens, not if it happens, when it happens, is we must gather our people together. So whether you as a leader are gonna gather your organization together as a whole, whether you're gonna gather your team together, or you're gonna do it one-on-one -on -one with people, gather to explain what's happening, why it's happening, what needs to be done, what the expectations are and what the new job and role of people are doing it. I have found that most employees want to be great at their job and this is a great opportunity for them to push through times of crisis, times of need because that's when they get the shine and when you need them the most and when they need you the most. So gather your people together to explain. Number two, time frame it. How long are we going to be working at this breakneck pace to get to this definition of success? Is it a week? Is it a month? Is it a year? Is it indefinite? Be transparent with your people with a time frame and then be proactive with where they are with it. What may need to decrease or do we need to increase the time frame? Your people may not like it and you may not like giving the news. However, they will appreciate the transparency and knowing how to throttle their ebb and flow of what to give and how to give it. Next, we have to be able to reward. As a leader, we want to be able to reward your people, the team, the organization for pushing through and allowing you to push them past their meter. Now, I know you may have some great ideas for rewards, and I'm going to tell you right now, that that expensive Yeti that you're gonna give with the nice company logo that keeps their water cold or their coffee hot is not enough. That thumbs up you send in a text is not enough. That thank you with the exclamation point that you send through email may not be enough. Be curious enough to know as a leader what your organization, your team, the individuals need most and respect rewarding wise. Is it incentives? Is it goody time in that pizza day and that hoagie day? Is it time off? Is it flexibility? Is it that recognition and affirmation? Whatever it is, be curious enough down to the individual about what they want and what they need and marry what you want to give and what's reasonable, doable, and fair. And we mix that together and it creates a great marriage where people can be satisfied working more and forward for you. Please don't ever forget how important connection is. People will do more for you, with you, because of you, and forgive about your leadership mistakes when they feel a connection. So through this time of push, be mindful not to be leading over email and locked in your office. Get on those Zoom calls and get one-on-one. -on -one. Walk around the floor and be amazed what people will do. Now that we've gathered, now that we've set a time, now that we have gotten people together and we've rewarded it, after we've gotten through the push, you've achieved the definition of success, you've made it through the change, you've made it through the crisis, now it's time to get back to pace. 
And this is where so many companies struggle because they or you may become addicted to the push pace, to the extra revenue that the pace has created. And now we stay on that pace. And the truth is, people can operate at that pace for a while, for a time frame, but they are not built. Your organization isn't built to last that long with the same people forever. So can you lead and get back to pace? Now that pace that we originally started with, we may never get back there. However, can you create a pace, set an expectation for a pace where people aren't becoming burnt out and leaving or burnt out and staying? Making your organization, your team, a place that people not only want to stay, but the outside world and employees want to come. Now you're a gold standard as a leader, as a team, and as an organization. So guys, I hope that this a leader's push resonated with you because we're all in it. And we can't be so busy being busy that we and you forget to be better. So I hope this resonated with you. And if you like this, you're going to love everything that I have at youevolvingnow.com. I look forward to you clicking above or below or wherever you're watching. Find out more about me and what I offer. And I look forward to being of value and impact for your organization, for your teams, your leaders, your employees, and you with my various speaking engagements, leadership trainings, and more. Guys, until next time, enjoy your evolution.